Russian President Vladimir Putin has promised that the Russian army will prevail following Ukraine's incursion of Kursk and says that the focus lies on driving out the enemy from Russia's territories. The Russian president spoke with top security and defense officials as Ukraine has made headway into Russian territory. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky also confirmed for the first time since the incursion that troops are conducting an operation in the Kursk region. The Ukrainian armed forces now reportedly control about 1,000 square kilometers within Russian territory in the largest Ukrainian incursion since the start of the war. This is footage from the Greek capital, Athens, surrounded by smoke as firefighters battle wildfires. Strong winds are complicating their efforts, prompting evacuation orders. Hundreds of firefighters and dozens of water-dropping planes are on the scene, fighting to control the blaze, whilst police helped evacuate the most vulnerable. The European Civil Protection Mechanism have been activated in order to send air and ground assistance to help deal with the wildfires affecting the region since Sunday afternoon. So far, France, Italy and the Czech Republic have responded to the Greek request, with supplies varying from helicopters to firefighters and Canadairs. Assistance from Spain and Turkey is also expected. June and July of this year were the hottest months ever recorded in Greece. Serbia's president has slammed the recent countrywide demonstrations against his approval of a new mining project, describing the issue as only impacting a minority. For days, tens of thousands of campaigners flooded Belgrade and other cities to protest a new lithium mining project spearheaded by Rio Tinto and tapped for the verdant Jadar Valley. <laughs> i rada na samom mostu Gazela nisu bili nikakav doprinos demokratiji, već upravo izvrgavanje ruglu demokratije kao oblika političkog režima i provođenje nasilja i volje manjine i terora manjine. Serbia's interior minister said 14 individuals were arrested at the recent demonstration, with prosecutors expected to bring felony charges to others once identified. It comes as the EU recently inked an agreement with Serbia to supercharge acquiring raw materials for sustainable technologies from the mineral-rich country. This is Excess Land, one of Seagate's festival's most unique venues. Here, festival goers can experience what it's like to live as a person with a disability. There are a range of activities from wheelchair fencing to painting without hands. I like this experience. It's fun to try something else, but it also makes you realize, wow, without my hands, it's really hard to do something. Like in daily life it would be you know really easy and yeah you don't think about that in daily life as well as providing entertainment the participating ngos also aim to shape the attitudes surrounding disability az egyik legfontosabb célunk hogy a tabukat ledöntögessük az emberekben és hogyha legközelebb találkoznak egy fogyatékossággal élő személlyel akár az utcán akár a munkahelyen vagy az iskolában vagy bárhol akkor egy más szemüvegen keresztül ismerjék meg őket, egy más szemüvegen keresztül nézzék meg őket. The games range from individual activities to dual and larger group sports. Excess Land offers a different take on these popular sports and activities.
Playing brings both people together while simultaneously benefiting the NGOs. Én ilyen mezei önkéntesként kezdtem, mert a suliban hirdették, hogy van egy ilyen lehetőség, és, és maga az egész alapítványos le, lelkület az így úgy magával ragadott, hogy mondom úristen, én ezzel most már életem végéig foglalkozni akarok, úgyhogy igazából így most már ez a munkahelyem. The most popular activities include two obstacle courses by the I Won't Give Up Foundation. One is a wheelchair obstacle course and the other is a maze where participants need to find the exit blindfolded. Honestly, at the beginning I thought I was doing very well, but after you go to the very small spaces, uh, I, I was completely lost. <laughs> so it's, uh, I mean, it's fun for us and it's a ludic way to put ourselves in their shoes, but I cannot imagine how hard it is to uh, do this every day. In addition to playful learning, the venue has another very important function. Az Access Landben azokat is várják, akik maguk is speciális igényekkel élnek. Itt lehet például kerekes széket bérelni, a gyengén látók pedig kísérőt kérhetnek maguk mellé. Magyar Ádám, Euronews, Budapest Sziget Fesztivál. Over 100 protesters have taken to the popular Bellario Six Beach on the Balearic island of Mallorca to host a protest. The coastline visited yearly by tourists is also a reminder that locals have difficulties enjoying it. Demonstrators part of the Ocupem Les Nostros Plages, also known as the Beach Occupy Movement, demand tourism limits and solutions to problems such as the saturation of public services or the difficulties of access to housing. The Balearic government has created a joint committee with the tourist sector and civil society to put a limit on tourism by redoubling controls against illegal tourist flats and fines going up to 80,000 euros. 2023 was a record year for the island with almost 14 million visitors, but this year that number has already been exceeded by 6 million. Restoring old houses to attract tourism. This is what local people of the central Romanian village of Simon are doing. As more and more people wish to experience life in a traditional home, century-old houses are being refurbished or even moved into more quiet scenic areas. One of the owners explains what the attraction is all about. Specific this creates for a tourist a lot of intimacy. That is, once you enter on the door, you are with your friends and with those with whom you would like to live. A intimacy, as I would say, comfortable and romantic. You can sit with them in pajamas, with them in coffee, with them in tea, 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 generoasă și foarte plăcut stai și eu știu la povești în șură. Tourists say why they love this place. Poate să simți energia locului respectiv. Mm -hmm. Ne place foarte mult liniștea mm -hmm. și natura e foarte frumoasă. Many of the owners of the traditional houses are also collectors, keeping pieces of art like ancient irons cast iron stoves and old kitchen items used by their grandparents. In a place that seems to be cut off from the world, time can almost feel like it has stopped. Yeah, the farmers who own land of sunflower or corn are devastated. The heat waves from July, when the temperature exceeded 40 degrees Celsius, destroyed most of their crops. Here in the land of sunflower, I can see that the plants are really tall, but they are dry, and the flowers are really small. The farmers say their losses might reach even 90 percent. Bun, să zicem, făceam undeva la 2500-3000 de kilograme la hectare, anul ăsta sperăm să ajungem la 1000 de kilograme, deși din ce se vede aici, în sola aceasta, cu siguranță nu vom ajunge. Farmers from Oltenia started harvesting sunflowers three weeks earlier than in previous years. The plants can no longer be left in the fields because they are drying out due to the drought. In fact, some farmers have had their crops completely compromised. Mi-e dezastru. M-a plouat, m-a plouat acum pe sfârșit și degeaba a plouat. 
Nu mai... știu dacă scot cheltuiala. A fost înregistrate aproximativ un număr de 300 de cere privind calamitățile pentru cultura de floare și porumb. Culturile sunt afectate, oamenii sunt nemulțumiți de situația existentă și depun cereri în continuare. According to agricultural authorities, about 65% of all sunflower crops in Dolj County have been affected by the drought. Romania's National Meteorological Administration warns that severe and extreme drought will persist. The Olympic Games in Paris have officially ended with the city lighting up in a magnificent ceremony. The next Olympics is scheduled for 2028 and will take place in Los Angeles. However, Americans who spoke to Euronews expressed some concerns about how that might happen. I do think traffic is going to be uh, a major concern because I think uh, Paris is a little bit more uh, easier with uh, public transportation. I'm not sure about L.A. because I don't live there, but uh, I do think that might be an issue. But I'm going to go anyway and have fun. <laughs> I live in LA and New York. Uh, LA is building the trains, they're going to figure it out. I think it's going to be simple and easy. It was really, really easy to get from one side of town to the other side of town in Paris. Uh, I was able to make all the games. I did some games, three, day, three games in a day. But I think LA is going to figure it out. <laughs> I can't wait to be there. This year, the US finished top of the table for the fourth consecutive Olympics. Can they make it a fifth on their home territory? We'll have to wait and see.